Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, Go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Oh, what a lucky surprise. My gift has arrived. <laughs> and in good condition. <laughs> you, you may leave us alone, Claude. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we are going to have so much fun together. Listener, that's your name. <laughs> you know... You are lucky that I have to save you from being sold to those perverts. So instead, I spot you instead. At least you have someone around my age. Oh no, sweetheart. I'm not going to take advantage of you. And I'm definitely not going to have my way with you. I need to get to know you first before I do so. <laughs> Oh, you really think I'm that type of person? Oh no, sweetheart. I'm more than just that. I mean, sure, it does sound like fun. But I want to do more than that. What I heard from the auction... It appears you're very vulnerable. You have nowhere to stay. For your attempt of being protected... I decided to do something even more extreme. Instead of making you my personal slave, you are going to be my bride. Hmm? No, no. What did you just say? Answer me, listener. What did you just say? You'd rather marry someone else other than me. Oh? And what's the reasoning? Hmm? Oh, so you believe in those filthy rumors that I abuse anyone that lays in my manor, that I abuse my servants. And I'm an attention-seeking whore. Oh, listener, if only I can slap you, to shut you up. But, I can't do that. I saved you from the auction from being sold. You were trafficked, listener. What I did is saved you, and the thing that I want to bring you is happiness. And you said you want to deny it? Is it because I am the Earl Aloise Trancy? Is that I hurt people? I only punish if someone disobeys me. Not out of pity or pleasure out of it. <laughs> Another rumour. What is it? Tell me right in my face. Uh, <laughs> you think I beat women? That I'm a woman hater? think that about me, love? You think I beat women because I hate them? That they're the opposite sex of me? Oh. <laughs> I think you're starting to grow in my gears, love. I don't hate women. And I don't beat them because I hate them. Just because I look like a fancy boy does not mean I'm also attracted to my own sex. 
if I'm such a fancy boy, why did I ask you for your hand in marriage? Anything to defense? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you want actual proof that I'm not just a fancy boy? Oh, I'll give you proof. <laughs> oh, don't you? You like to play rough, do you? <laughs> Well, that's my proof to you that I'm not just a fancy boy. <laughs> Looking at your face, it's quite adorable. <laughs> I'll admit it. You like me soon. Because I did ask for your hand. What are you going to do about it? Go back there. What happens if an old pervert bought you? Not my fault. What I did was just saved you. And I thought that I could protect you is by marrying you so that no one would be after you. Or you'll be sold. You don't want that to happen again, do you, listener? Let me ask you this. Marry me or go back there. <laughs> so you are going to give me a chance. I see. Well, very wise choice you made. You are officially my wife. But not fully. I need to get to know my beautiful wife. Oh no, you're not going to call me master. Or those sorts of monstrous names. Just call me Alois. Because as your husband, you just get to call me my actual name. Now then, let's get you out of those chains, love. Oh, and before I do, promise me you won't run away. If you do, I'll have my butler cut you. You promise? <laughs> Good girl. Now let's get these off of you. There, you're free now. Now, come here. I said come here, listener. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Why would I hurt my beautiful bride? I won't hurt you. I just wanted to take a better look of you. That's it. <laughs> my. You are very beautiful. Beautiful face. A nice body. I bet you are a total sweetheart. How did you end up back there? I wonder. Could it possibly be because you're so beautiful you have to be used? Could that be it? I find it kind of bullshit. How they treat the most beautiful, like objects. Especially someone like you, that deserves to be protected. Not just that, but cherished. <laughs> oh yes, I would. But I still need to get to know you first, before I would decide. If you are the one for me or not. Not only I saved you, but I bought you. Which means I can still do whatever I want to you. And the thing I want to do is make you my bride. And then when we reach adulthood, and possibly have my way with you, do we have ourselves a deal? Listener, that you will fall in love with me and become my bride and I will become your husband and you will live in free luxury as a trancy with me so that we don't feel alone. Do we have ourselves a deal, listener? Be with me forever and bear my children and rule the trancy manor. 
I'll let you think about that. But it'll only be temporary for you to think. Because I've already had my interest in you. Oh yes, you have, listener. I think I'm already in love with you just by talking to you. I want to know what's underneath that beautiful brain of yours. What you're hiding. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be torturing you, just letting you out any information. I'll just do what any other two people would do when they're together. Just talk. Maybe have a board game to play and go out. Or just sit down and talk. Oh yes. It would sound very lovely. What do you think? Care that we can get to know each other? <laughs> Alright. You will give me a chance. I like that. Now... I don't know if you bathe yourself, but you kind of reek. I will have my maid to give you a nice bath, and then after so, we start talking, so I can get to know my fiancé. Let me lead you to the bathroom. Maybe we can talk there. <laughs> We're fiancés, love. Soon I will see you there. Excuse me? No, no, no. What did you just call me? <laughs> Calling your fiancé a pervert, even though we're going to be married soon. Don't ever call me a pervert. Or any of those names. Or else, I may have to punish you. But not right now. Because you just arrived here. And this is supposed to be a warm welcome and you're making it difficult. Anyway, let me lead you to the bathroom. And I'll let Hannah wash you. Hopefully she'll be here by now. That's such a slow tart. Oh, nothing. You didn't hear anything. Well, if you don't want me to be in the same room with you because ladies deserve privacy, I'll give you some privacy. Maybe after that, I have a set of clothes in our bedroom that we'll be sleeping together. I'll be waiting you in the living room. That's an order right there. Alright then. I'll see you in half an hour. That I look very beautiful for me. I'd love for my fiancé to look beautiful for me. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs>